Good morning, Stampers. This is Jenny Day, back for another new video tutorial. This week's tip I think you're going to really like because I played around with some ideas and did some research. And today's video is about creating new rubber stamps from scrap rubber that you get with your stamps. Now, normally, if you get a stamp set that is clear, I usually keep the rubber and store them so it doesn't move around in storage. But sometimes when you get a wood set, you wonder what to do with the rest of these pieces. So here's a couple of tips that will really work well to make new rubber stamps out of these scraps. Because Stampin' Up! sells Define uh, rubber stamp. Divine, de, uh, I can't speak they carve their own rubber stamp. So it's the same concept of just using scrap. So cut off a piece of scrap. This is so fun and simple. And what you're going to need is you're going to need your, your big shot. So you will need your two clear cutting plates. So put one in there. And then I've got a, a tiny little flower I think will fit on this scrap. Put the rubber side down to fit on you're, you can't see what I'm looking at here, the flower, but I promise you it's going to be really neat. And you put it down on your Big Shot, put your plate on top to make your sandwich, and just press down on it and hold it into place and listen. You can almost hear that cutting through. It actually cuts like butter. It's amazing. So, here pull out the, the rest of the scrap and you're left with this adorable little flower. Now you think, how? Because this has to be peeled away and this is usually mounted on, on wood, how can I get that and convert it into put it on into a clear stamp so I can use it on my clear block? Well this just kind of accidentally came about for me. You, you peel this off. Let's set um, <coughs> that aside. Remember the tip on my last video that there is this clear vinyl. It's the number four size, and I think you can get it at Joann's or Walmart. Any craft store will do. I just have a small piece of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this back through, um, put it right on that same design, flat, run it like you just did through there the big shot <coughs> and then it looks like it likes to stick to the top so pop it out and this is the really cool part just match it up the best that you can to there and then that way the sticky part is not going to stick and not come off your, your stamps now here's the neat part that tip that I had last week about using this thin vinyl to cut a piece and put it on your, your blocks, then all of your stamps will fit better. And so now you just made a rubber stamp and put the piece of plastic on there, press it down, and it's not going anywhere. It's adhered. So now you have a brand new little flower that actually was a Stampin' Up! die. So you're not just using it for paper, you're making new rubber stamps out of it, and they're also sticking to the block. So, uh, then go ahead and Stamp your heart out, make make cards with that. So that is one of my new favorite tips. You'll be upcycling, you'll be making new cards, and how much fun is that? Now the other thing I'm going to do is I wanted to show you a tip on buttons and crystal effects. Uh, from the grocery store or the craft store, you can get these clear tags here. I wanted to show you how really neat you can make for scrapbooking uh, pages and for necklaces, jewelry, any kind of thing. You, oh, you can put them on cards too. So, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you buttons. So, we're going to just do a tiny bit of stamping. I'm going to take my cherry cobbler pad and I have a little sentiment called bliss here. And we'll take our Play a block and 
<coughs> and I've already punched out a piece of designer series paper. It looks like the newspaper prints. And I'm just going to stamp the word bliss on it. <coughs> See how nice that is? Looks kind of vintage. So, from here, I thought it would be nice to have a little heart on there. So, this is a great way to use your buttons and punches all together. A whole different dimension of what you can create. So I'm going to punch out a heart, a red heart. And Crystal Effects is it's just awesome stuff. You can use it as adhesive and it's like a clear lacquer. So, just to attach the heart onto the sentiment I just stamped, it's kind of I'll show you here. <coughs> so you've got the word bliss on the paper with the heart. Now, you just want to put a very thin coating um, of this on the paper. And this is what you're going to come out up with. Let me fix my little thing here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Take all of the crystal effects and move it to the edge. And then what you can do is attach it right on to your little clear tag. And that will dry and then you have an, in, an instant artwork. Let me show you some other things. I punched out a glitter flower with a petite punch and you just fill in your design like this one here. You don't have to do too much but you just do it to the edges of all your design and then push it down to a clear button. And then don't forget to use your paper piercer to pierce through so you can let me show you. You do that, then you make your button to be able to tie a string through it. This one has designer series paper in it. It's a big button. <coughs> now these are the vintage faceted designer buttons by Stampin' Up! Item number 127555. And if you can see that, underneath I put gold and then a heart underneath it and use the same crystal effects. So you can tell you're creating your own designer buttons this way. And also crystal effects by flattening the um, the t pop tops here you can s stamp your image on a, you know, I punched it out then fill in the rest of the space with crystal effects and let it dry. I even put a rhinestone you can use this in a scrapbook page or you can use it for jewelry. And anything will work. Here's a clear button and a piece of designer series paper. Just glue it right on there. The crystal effects dries clear, acts like it's an adhesive, and the possibilities are really endless. So, I'd like to showcase the designer series buttons today as well as the big shot. Nobody should be without a big shot. So the possibilities are endless. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Try them out and happy stamping.